welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'm setting up for our Galentine's party tomorrow. I'm super excited. This is my first ever girly Galentine's party and I've got all the bows, all the pink girly things. I'm so excited. We are about to set up balloons, which are up there. I think I'm gonna line the hallway with them. I'm just gonna see. I ordered like 20 balloons and I'm just gonna figure out where to put them. Let me show you guys what else I've got. These are little plastic cups that I got off Amazon and then I tied bows around all of them which I will insert a little time lapse of me doing it because I sat down and did that yesterday and then I went ahead and tied some ribbon around the candlestick holders I have these little cookie stands and trays for the cookies so here is the vibe I also have pink and red flowers coming and then I got this linen tablecloth it's like a tablecloth but I'm using it as a runner and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this for Ramadan as well I just love the texture it gives and I'm pretty sure you can probably hear it miss Rachel in the background <laughs> but it's keeping both my babies happy right now. Okay, I'm gonna set you guys up and I'm gonna put the balloons on either side of the hallway and we're just gonna see how it looks. Yeah! Yeah! You ready? Yes! Yeah. You ready? Okay, hold it. Thank you. We're gonna, gonna fly? We're gonna fly in the balloon? No, we're not gonna fly. Oh. Okay, the hallway is looking so cute. I don't know if you guys caught that from the time lapse, but basically what we did is I just took a piece of like scotch tape and I taped them to the floor and I'm hoping that that stays until tomorrow. I don't know. I think it should. Yes. So I have six balloons left over, so I'm gonna figure out where to put them in the kitchen. Okay, this looks so cute, but Elena, she has the third one that's going on the other side, but I'm just letting her keep it for now because I want her to be happy. But I love how it turned out and this was so inexpensive, but it just really made an impact. I love it. Okay, Elena is dying to use one of these cups, so I poured her some raspberry lemonade. Is this not so cute? Hopefully she doesn't make a mess. Okay, now it's time for me to feed Jojo. And I always get asked like what solid foods I feed him. So these are the things that I feed him. Most of the time it's either blended up soup with like veggies and chickpeas and beans and like chicken broth and he loves soup so we blend it up in the blender and then I like heat it up for a little bit or I'll do like the baby pouches like different smoothies and stuff mashed up avocado just basically like anything that we're eating like I try to give him whatever I can that he can chew or like just eat without teeth because Baby boy does not have teeth yet. We're waiting. <laughs> We're still waiting on the first one. But yeah, I get asked a lot. So I thought I would just give you guys, if y'all have any ideas on baby food, let me know. Yeah, this is chicken and veggie soup. I feel like I did that a lot with Elena too when she was little. I did a lot of soups for her. And it's honestly one of the only ways she still eats vegetables is in soups. Soups for babies. That's my advice. <laughs> Guess who's here? Guess who's here? It's a Guess who's here? <laughs> okay, it's a few hours later. We just made it to a coffee shop to meet Amanda and we're gonna grab coffee and then we're gonna go run some errands because I need to pick up some stuff for the party like fruit, water. I think I need um, maybe a little bit more ribbon <laughs> for some more bows, but yeah, so let's go inside. We are 
are back in the car. I'm Got so happy to I be know. here with you. Me too. <laughs> so excited. We're gonna run to the grocery store, grab some last minute things for the party. And what else are we gonna do today? Oh, I don't know. What kind of fruit do you think you're gonna do? I think just like berries, grapes, maybe pineapple. I'm gonna see what they have. Honestly. Yeah, that sounds good. And um, uh, yeah. do you have everything else? I think I just need plates, water. I wanted to get more ribbon. Do we have time to go anywhere else? Yeah, okay. good. Gotta go quickly so I can go home and feed Jonah. <laughs> She asked for my hijab as a blanket and I felt so bad. I literally would have given it to her, but <laughs> Um, maybe oval. Amanda's sitting in the car with Elena, but I came into Michael's to look and see if they had candlesticks, pink candlesticks, and ribbon. How cute are these little, like, I think I'm gonna get some. Oh, those are beautiful. So cute. I love them. And twist. then look at this one. So cute. And then I found this ribbon. It's kind of thick, but they didn't have, like, oh, for the balloons? Balloons. Yeah, yeah. I think you need thick ones. Okay. And that's all. I love it. Perfect. Let's go. I'm on washing duty. I'm gonna I'm wash the chocolate. Chocolate duty. She's gonna cut them into cute little hearts like she did for her Galentine's with strawberries. Yes. Well, Do you think that like most people don't actually wash their fruit before they I don't like, know. To, like you know and I always think about like restaurants and stuff. Do they like you know wash I their hope stuff? So I don't know. Sometimes blueberries I don't yeah. wash them before, you know. I'm really um, hungry. Honestly, I'm the same about blueberries and raspberries. Raspberries I kind of have to wash because sometimes there's stuff It's the next day, it's Galentine's Day. Amanda was so sweet, she filmed herself putting the fruit up last night while I was getting Jonah to sleep. We've already had breakfast, I got myself ready. Jonah napped, I've gotta get this place kinda cleaned up. I kinda cleared everything so that I could film for TikTok, like setting everything up. So I'm gonna like vacuum the floors a little bit, vacuum mop, I mean, and then I'm gonna wipe everything down and then we're gonna set it all up. And then Amanda's gonna come over and we're gonna just finish getting it all ready. So let's go. This is the first thing that you see when you walk into my house and it's a disaster, so I'm gonna pick it up a little bit. <laughs> I'm just 
tiny, I knew. And uh, I tried to get on 31 and we're talking. She said something about me. I was like, wow. Oh, my God. Oh. So I turned around. I knew then. Everything's looking so cute and the cookies I got them from a local bakery and everything is delicious. So good Okay, so the cups fell again, but my brother has a much better way to stack them I didn't even realize how did you learn how to do this? High school cup, cup stacking champion <laughs> Perfect. No, no, that's perfect. Love it. So cute. No, no, no. I just needed one Okay, I wanted to show you guys the final results. We have all the cookies. Uh, these are chocolate chip and pecan. They are so delicious. And I think Elena snuck like two whole cookies uh, without me watching. These are like a shortbread style of cookie with like just a little dollop of frosting on top. And they are so buttery and so good. They did a really good job on the Galentine cake as well. Like how cute is that? And it's funny because like this was not the color and spell that I gave, but thank God it actually matched like the red in the flowers. We couldn't figure out how to stack these any higher, so this is what we got with the cups. And here are the candles and the flowers on this main table. All that's left is to set up the food, and I need to like put out the chips and hot sauce, and I need to get the drinks together and stuff. I think we're pretty much done. Poppy sent over a ton of raspberry rose poppy, and I was gonna do like a mocktail and put it in the drink dispenser, but I was like, you know what? <laughs> like basically, all I was gonna put in it was the poppy anyway, so I'm just gonna have the cans here, and they can just put it in the cute cups for pictures. Okay, I almost forgot the fruit, so put that out last minute, and I also set up all the food on this side. I think it all came together. Thank you.